What's up, everybody? Today, I am going to be a lawyer. So you better lawyer your ass up. Which one should I play? Ace Attorney, Justice for All, Trials and Tribulations. Let's do... I'm gonna go with the first one, Ace Attorney. Episode 1, the first turnabout. Oh, that guy looks like a douche. Alright, so I'm basically a lawyer slash detective. Is that a Q-tip with blood dripping out of it? Gasp, gasp. Oh. Oh. That's a lot of, a lot of, a lot of strawberry jam there, lady. That you spilled. I can't get, I can't get caught, not like this. The Joker? Oh, I, I've got to find someone to blame this on. Someone shot you in the head, dude. Someone like him. I'll make it look like he did it. Hey, you always blame it on the douche. Easy scapegoat. August 3rd, 9.47 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby, number two. Boy, am I nervous. Right. Oh, right. Oh, hiya, Chief. Woo, I'm glad I made it on time. Well, I have to say, Phoenix, I'm impressed. Not everyone takes on a murder trial right off the bat like this. <laughs> It says a lot. I'm gonna I'm gonna change up the voice because that kind of <laughs> kind of hurts my my voice. It says a lot about you and your client as well. Um. Oh, mm, um. Thanks. Actually, it's because I owe him a favor. A favor? Oh, uh, did I? I messed up the voices. <laughs> you mean you knew the defendant before this case? Yes. Actually, I kind of owe my current job to him. He's one of the reasons I became an attorney. Well, that's news to me. I want to help him out any way I can. I just, I just really want to help him. I owe him that much. It's over! My life, everything, it's all over! <laughs> Mia, uh, Is that your client scream? <clears throat> Is that your... Mm. <laughs> Is that your client screaming over there? Yeah, it's him. Death! Despair! Oh! I'm gonna do it! I'm gonna die! <laughs> it's... It sounds like he wants to die. Um, yeah. Sigh. Nick! <laughs> Nick! Hey! Hey there, Larry! Or, <clears throat> hey there. Hey, hey there, Larry. Dude, I'm so guilty. Tell them I'm guilty. Give me the death sentence. I'm a. I ain't afraid to die. What? What's wrong, Larry? Oh, it's all over. I. I'm finished. Finished! I can't live in a world without her. I can't! Who? Who took her away from me, Nick? Who did this? Aw, oh, Nick, you gotta tell me. Who took my baby away? The dingo. The dingo took your baby away. Hmm, the person responsible for your girlfriend's death. The newspapers say it was you. My name is Phoenix Wright. Here's the story. So far. My first case is a very, fairly simple one. Raspberry Jam Girl. A young woman was killed in her apartment. The guy they, they arrested was the unlucky sap dating her. Larry Butts. <laughs> My best friend since grade school. Our school had a saying. When, some, when something smells, it's usually the butts. In the 23 years I've known him, it's usually been true. He has a knack for getting himself into trouble. One thing I can say, though, it's usually not his fault. He just has terrible luck. But I know better than anyone that he's a good guy at heart. That and I owe him one, which is why I took the case. 
to clear his name. And that's just what I'm going to do. August 3rd, 10 a.m., District Court, courtroom number two. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Larry Butts. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The, um, defense is ready, Your Honor. Ahem. Mr. Wright, this is your first trial, is it not? Yes, Your Honor. I'm, um, a little nervous. Your conduct during this trial will decide the fate of your client. And his hairdo. Murder is a serious charge for your client's sake. I hope you can control your nerves. The, th thank you, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. Mr. Wright, given the circumstances, I think we should have a test to ascertain your readiness. Yes, Your Honor. Goop, hand shaking, eyesight fading. The <laughs> The the test will consist of a few simple questions. Ask them clearly and consciously. Please state the name of the defendant in this case. Phoenix Wright, Larry Butts, Mia Fay. Mr. Butts. The defendant. Well, the defendant. Well, that's Larry Butts, Your Honor. Correct. Just keep your wits about you, and you'll do fine. Next question. This is a murder trial. Tell me what the victims. What's the victim's name? Woo! I knew this one. Glad I read the case report cover to cover so many times. It's wait. Uh oh. Uh -oh. No, no way. I forgot. I'm drawing a total blank here. Phoenix, Phoenix, are you absolutely sure you're up to this? You don't even know the victim's name? Oh, the victim. Uh, of course, I know the victim's name. Yeah, yeah. I wrote it down on my my sweaty palm. I, um, just forgot. Temporarily. I think I feel a migraine coming on. Oh, you just need a good dickin' is what you need me to. Excuse me. <laughs> Look. <laughs> so stupid. Look, the victim's name is listed in the court record. Just press the R1 button to check it at any time, okay? Remember to check it often. Do it for me, please. I'm begging you. Mr. Wright, who is the victim in this case? Uh, City Block, City Stone, Mia Fey. Cindy. Tom Odessa, Kazuda. Cindy, so it's, her name's Cindy. This is Cindy Block. Cindy Stone. Cindy Stone, that's right. Um, the victim's name is Cindy Stone. Correct! Now tell me, what was the cause of death? She died because she was... Too young at heart. Hey. Uh, hit with a blunt object. She was struck once by a blunt object. Correct! You've answered all my questions. I see no reason why we shouldn't proceed. Here's your prize, a bag of dicks. You seem much more relaxed, Mr. Wright. Good, good for you. Thank you, Your Honor. Because I don't feel relaxed, that's for sure. <laughs> well then. First, a question for the prosecution. Mr. Payne? Uh, yes. Uh, <clears throat> what kind of voice should I get of him? Uh, yes, Your Honor. As Mr. Wright just told us, the victim was struck with a blunt object. Would you explain to the court just what the object was? The murder weapon was this statue of the thinker. It was found lying on the floor next to the victim. I see. The court accepts it into evidence. Statue added to the court record. The thinker. It's rather heavy. Right. Be sure to pay attention to any evidence added during the trial. That evidence is the only ammunition you have in court. Use R1 to check the court record frequently. Oh, you got it, baby girl. Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its first witness. The prosecution calls the defendant, Mr. Butts, to the stand. 
Um, um, Chief, what do I do now? Pay attention! You don't want to miss any information that might help your client's case. You'll get your chance to respond to the pr prosecution later, so be ready. Uh. Let's just hope he doesn't say anything. Unfortunate. Uh oh, Larry gets excited easily. This could be bad. <laughs> what a douche. Ahem. Mr. Butts. Is it not true the victim had recently dumped you? <laughs> hey, watch it, buddy. We were great together. We were Romeo and Juliet, Cleopatra and Mark Anthony. Um, didn't they all die? I wasn't dumped. She just wasn't taking my phone calls or seeing me. Ever. What did you anyway? <laughs> my man got ghosted. Mr. Butts, what, what you describe is generally what we mean by dumped. In fact, she had completely abandoned you and was seeing other men. You fucking cuck. <laughs> she... <laughs> She had just returned from overseas with one of them the day before the murder. What do you mean, one of them? Lies! All of it lies! I don't believe a word of it! Your Honor, the victim's passport. According to this, she was in Paris until the day before she died. The victim apparently arrived home from Paris on June 30th, or no, excuse me, July 30th, the day before the murder. Indeed. She appears to have returned the day before the murder. Dude, no way. The victim? The victim was a model, but did not have a large income or a big enough IQ. It appears that she had several sugar daddies. <laughs> so that makes her a sugar baby. Daddies? Sugar? Yes, older men who gave her money and gifts. She took their money and used it to support her lifestyle. Dude! <laughs> we, we can clearly see what kind of woman this Miss Stone was. Tell me, Mr. Buzz, what do you think of her now? Right. I don't think you want him to answer that question. Yeah, Larry has a way of run, running his mouth in all the wrong directions. Should I? Wait and see what happens. Uh, I'm gonna stop him, stop him. My client had no idea the victim was seeing other men. The question is irrelevant to this case. Smell my finger, goddammit. <laughs> Oof, wince. Dude, Nick, what do you mean irrelevant? That cheating she-dog. I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. I'm just gonna drop dead, dude. Yeah, and when I meet her in the afterlife, <clears throat> I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Let's continue with the trial, shall we? I believe the accused motive is clear to every. <clears throat> God damn it! I keep messing up the voices. <clears throat> I believe the accused motive is clear to everyone. Yes, quite. Oh boy, this is so not looking good. Next question. You went to the victim's apartment on the day of the murder, did you not? Gulp! Well, did you or did you not? Heh, heh, heh. Well, maybe I did and maybe I didn't. Uh-oh, he went. What do I do? Oh. Have him answer honestly. Stop him from answering. I'll send him a signal. Lie like a dog. Um, well, see, it's like this. I don't... <clears throat> keep, uh. Um, well, see, it's like this. I don't remember, dude. You don't remember. Well, then, we'll just have to remind you. I got a bad feeling about this. We have a witness that can prove that he did go to the victim's apartment that day. Well, that simplifies matters. Who is your witness? Excuse me. The man who found the victim's body just before making the gruesome discovery. He 
saw the defendant. <clears throat> he saw the defendant fleeing the scene of the crime. Uh oh, uh oh, you're gone, my main man. Order, order in the court. Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its witness. Yes, your honor. This is bad. <laughs> On the day of the murder, my witness, my witness was selling newspapers at the victim's building. Please bring Mr. Frank Sawit to the stand. Oh, it's bullet hole head. Mr. Sawit. <laughs> you sell newspaper subscriptions, is that correct? Is this correct? Oh, oh, yes. Newspapers, yes. Mr. Sawit. <laughs> Mr. Sawit, you may proceed with your testimony. Please tell the court that you saw what you saw on the day of the murder. Witness testimony. Witness account. All right. Looking at the time. I ran out of time for this episode, guys. Um, uh, this game is pretty interesting. Uh, I like it so far. I'm not too into these anime uh, cornball of games or whatever, but this one's actually pretty cool. So, um, <clears throat> putting my uh, voice acting to the test. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll make more of these. Um, see you in the next video, I think. Maybe. Maybe not. Laters. Yeah. <laughs>